What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Vintage Breaks. I am J5, coming to you live from the 459. <coughs> I tried. <coughs> it was like, it was good until that point. What's up, Tom? I am back in the office. I was under the weather. Um, you know, a little sinus cold. It's almost out of my system. What's up, correct crime? Whew. So, um, I've been out of the game for two days. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. Sammy was, it has taken over the office, and uh, apparently uh, he pulled a monster card last night. Uh, what was his name? Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood from the 2019 Tops Chrome? Yes. No, uh, 2020. 2020? Prism EPL oh, choice. 2020 choice. choice. Oh, choice. That's a hot box. Uh, so, congrats to Matthew Best um, pulling that card. That's a monster. And congratulations to S10 for getting the belt from VB South, who is invading us I know. next week. Yes. The South is invading the North. It is crazy. S10 said the first three people to say what's up get break credit. Did he? Really? I did not get that memo. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Was it a thing yesterday? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, Tom. I don't know. But I got some awesome news. What's up, Daniel Lynch? Daniel. What's up, man? It was a pleasure meeting you at the show. By the way, guys, we had a fun time. Uh, S10 probably spoke about it yesterday. Uh, we had a fun time at the Philly show. Good times. We had some of our, our uh, Brick and Maniacs uh, stop at the booth. So shout out to Daniel Lynch, Chad Barnes, um, Tyler Eurysitis, as I like to call him. Ernie Lambert showed up in spirit. Ernie Lambert showed up in spirit. <laughs> yeah, um, and everybody else who, who stopped by, who also is a fan, but, uh, you know, it, you have to imagine that a lot of these um, Brick and Maniacs who watch us typically also chat with us so we don't know who's actually watching. So when they show up to a booth and say, I watch you guys all the time, I just don't chat or buy, yeah, that's a possibility. You guys just watch us because it's fun and yeah. we're entertaining and that's awesome. Yeah. So I gave away a lot of shirts this weekend. Let's just say that. Okay. I gave away a lot of shirts. Kristen uh, can uh, be a witness to that. Verify. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so it was definitely fun. The Nationals is like quadruple the size of what the Philly show is. It's actually more than that. It's like 20 times the size of that. And uh, it's going to be really, really fun uh, being there for the whole entire week. Um, I know you guys don't have access uh, Monday, Tuesday. So we're going to be there, us, at the Bricker Pavilion, breaking from there live from 10 or 12. On Monday, it's going to be like 12 to 11 or 12 to 10. 12 to 10, 10 30. They're very strict, so we have to be out of there by 11, not end the show at 11 and then pack out up. The we have to be building. locked up and get the hell out of walking out of the building by 11. Yeah. So most likely we'll end there like at 10 or 10.30. Uh, same thing Tuesday, but Tuesday we'll go on earlier. We'll go on at 10 to 10, 10.30. Wednesday we'll go on at 10 to probably 10, same thing. Thursday it'll be 10 to 7. Friday will be 10 to 6, Saturday will be 10 to 5, Sunday will be like 10 to 4 ish. So, we're, uh, uh, we'll let you guys know more about the time and the schedule once we get closer, but that's going to be exciting. This will be our first nationals in two years. So, um, it's going to be a lot of good stuff. Speaking of nationals, we are S10, would you say 90% finalized? The bonuses, ninety percent. Yeah, well, at ninety percent. I can at least announce one, one of the events. Sure. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are watching, uh, we are finalizing the events for the national um, one of the events, Dougie. One of the bonuses, one of the giveaways uh -huh. that we definitely finalized is the bam. Is what is it? The bam. The, the bam. bam. Oh, cool. the bam. That's coming back. Nice. Yes. We're changing it. Yeah, it's a little bit different because it's, it's the nationals. So instead of being a winner take all, we're gonna have the top seven win prizes. I remember our first one we did. I think we did what top three, right? Perhaps, but we did a lot of winner it's take alls. I thought. Yeah. So. The Breaker Maniacs Appreciation Bonus, guys, it is, we call it the BAM bonus. It is not something you can buy into. It is something you have to win or earn. So typically we use these for bounties, for bonuses, for trivia questions, for uh, social media giveaways. Um, if you guys send us memes and you make us laugh, or sometimes you're the first one to say hi, you'll get a spot. So for example, Tom O'Connor and Craig Keim say hi first today, so you guys will be the, actually the first two participants in our band bonus. So congratulations, you guys were the first two. Dougie, as soon as I make it live, you can add them to it. So it's Craig Keim and, and Tom O'Connor. Okay. Yep, it's just random. I'm, I'm not saying tomorrow we do the same thing. It's just it's different ways of getting in. The only key thing is that you cannot buy into it. Um, Hey, what's up, Jeremy? What's up, Matthew Townsend, the hit man? I think Craig Time is new, so tell him why we do a, a BAM, John. Like, what's the purpose of it? Three. Daniel Lynch, sure. How about three? Make it Daniel Lynch. He show up at the booth. So the oh. top three. Daniel Lynch would get a you BAM spot. Me? I'm sorry, what? You hear the words coming on my mouth? I heard gibberish, and then I heard something. New. Yes. So explain the BAM. Like, why do we do that? What's the purpose of it? Sure. So, Craig Time, the reason why we do the BAM bonus is basically for you guys. Uh, it's our way of giving back to the community. Um, and the only way to give back is by acknowledging either that you're watching, you're having fun, uh, you know, you enjoy our breaks, you give us good feedback, um, you know, just make the community better. And the only way for us to do that is to reward you guys with something. And that something is typically a winner take all. One prize. This time around, because of the Nationals, we're going to do the top seven. So for first place in the band bonus, first place is going to get $1,000 in break credit. $1,000 in break credit, Dougie, for first place. I like it. It's Second place is going to get $500 in Just Collect eBay store credit. Nice. $500 in Just Collect eBay store credit. Uh, <clears throat> Matthew, I just I, I, I was actually running up as before we went live. Sam just needed a few minutes to finalize some bonuses. So uh, as soon as he finished and we switch, I'll make it live. Uh, but those are the top two. The, the rest, I'm running it up. As, as, once I go back, I'll finish it. Uh, but yeah, that's the top seven are going to get prizes. So that's the only one that I wanted to at least talk about today. Uh, we're also going to have a buy me spot bonus. We're going to have a VIP bonus. We're going to have a platinum VIP bonus. And of course, we have a fan bonus. Um, if there's anything else, we will let you know this week. Now, Jeremy, yes, I am feeling a little better. Thank you also for mentioning that. Uh, also, we decided that everybody who jumped in on June 14th, so this Monday, starting at 9 a.m., you guys are automatically in. So it's going to take anybody's purchases from June 14th, starting at 9 a.m. It doesn't start right now today. It actually started on Monday, June uh, 14th. Let's make sure that's right. Yes, June 14th, 9 a.m. So if you bought spots last night, if you bought it Monday night, you're automatically in. It's just a little thank you for being part of our show. Uh, we didn't want to exclude anybody uh, from Tuesday or Monday, so that is for you guys. Again, the BAM bonus. Trivia questions is the best way and the easiest way 
to get banned spots. There is no limit. There's no limit to the ban bonus. You just get in, you get in. I'm gonna randomize the list. That's Sunday at the Nationals, August 1st. Again, the top seven will win prizes. So, of course, hey man, of course. Dusk. Five there. No, I made a lot now. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, this is the other one. You're so cute. I'm cute, sexy, and dependable. <clears throat> Guys, that's it for me. That was my only announcement. Uh, we we'll announced the rest of the bonuses by tomorrow. But by the end of the week, you will know all the bonuses for the Nationals. So, stay tuned. Within 48 hours. Is what you were instructed to say, Jonathan. What's going on, guys? What's up, Jeremy? What is going on, Jeremy Stutes? Dougie, mm -hmm. give Jeremy Stutes a ten dollar break credit. What's going on, brother? Like, he was like slamming things. Like, didn't get a, he's, he's, he's yeah, don't worry about him. Don't worry about me. What's up, Craig Con? How are you, buddy? All right, guys. So, uh, Johnny talked about, uh, started telling you that we're going to have our Nationals promos go live within the next 48 hours. Uh, we do have, uh, he is finalizing the BAM right now. What is up, Daniel Lynch? Heck of a game last night, right? That fourth quarter broke my heart. I literally thought they had that game in the bag. I stopped watching at the fourth quarter. I was like, all right, we're good. Got on Gilmore show, hung out a little bit. I was like, oh, I wonder what happens. I checked the score. I was like, huh? Bucks lost? I was like, what do you mean? Dude, I was so confused. I was distraught. I was like, great. Now we have to win the next two. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I don't even... Yeah, I can't even begin to uh, explain... Durant just took control of that game. Yeah, it was in, it was wow. I mean, as much as I dislike Kevin Durant, um, it was yeah, impressive. He was, he was unstoppable. Yeah, honestly. it was it was impressive to say the least. All right, guys. So I have the pull box live. That's right, we got the pull box, baby. And this bad boy is live until 5.30, guys. There are 300 cards in this pull box. There's about 50 hits in here. Tons of good stuff. I'm just updating it because it looks like it is off. There we go. There we go. No, no, come on. Update for me. That says 300 in the system. You're wrong, computer. Whatever. It'll update. All right, guys. So we have our $25 treasure pull box, guys. Check it out. Uh, we have a 1K briefcase in there on a sticky note. We have exclusive wheel spins, 500 rollers, 250 bonus spots. 75 mini set spots, vintage and modern hits, guys. Uh, this bad boy is running until 5.30. It's running until 5.30. Um, let me see. Until there we go. All right.
Yeah, I know, Tom. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with uh, that game last night. It was nuts. It was nuts. Um, all right. We have our $1,000 briefcases, guys. Check it out. Um, first place is a 1959 Topps Baseball Starter Set. 200 plus cards, guys. Check out the highlights. We got Maze. Look at that Maze. Brooks Robinson. We got Frank Robinson. We have Skinner, Verdon, and Clemente. Don Drysdale, Johnny Padres, Smokey Bergs, Jackie Jensen. Some great hits in there, guys. So if you want to jumpstart your 59 Tops Baseball Starter Set, you know where to go. Uh, we have our $1,000 break credit. We have our 59 Tops Mickey Mantle All-Star SGC4. We have an 86 set break spot, 51 Bowman set spot, 2016 Bowman vending, uh, 54 Bowman set spot, 56 set spot. Tons of prizes, guys. And let's not forget, the exclusive wheel is going down tonight, guys. The exclusive wheel is going down tonight. All right, let me put that away. I got a lot of stuff over here. Dougie, can you put these boxes away? Uh, sure. It's like a mountain of stuff. <laughs> Katie, keep, I need Katie to keep doing that. Oh, man. Uh, I'm hoping Katie just, you know, stops. That's what I'm hoping for. He needs to cut that out. You know what we should have done? We, we, we really should have taken... Sent JK. JK. To Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Is JK already or something? Yep. JK volunteered to go to Brooklyn and uh, take care of him. Now they're in Milwaukee. It's just, you know... Alright, so Mark, we're going to kick it off. Um, even though we have this lovely pull box, every $25 you spend gets you a pull. I know the Breaking Maniacs want an offline. So we're going to start with a 40 at 25 That way, every $25 they spend, they're going to get a shot at a briefcase and a pull from the pull box. Um, it has to close by 3 o'clock, Mark. 3 o'clock. Gotcha. All right, let's go hunting for an A rod. When was the last time I pulled an A rod? I wasn't here yet. Um, it's been a while. Been a minute. Um, Charles got one, and then I've gotten one. So. Oh man. Come on, Arod. Let's get a die cut, Arod. Mm -hmm. Lots happened since then. You know, Arod and J Lo split up. Arod became the new owner of the, the Timberwolves. You know. Anything you have to do is just like, who is that? Who is that? He's, you know, it's funny. A-Rod's like, oh, hi, you know. I'm your new boss. Nice to meet you. I used to play baseball. I used to play baseball. We have Mark Witten, die cut. Matthew Best, what's going on, brother? How are you, my man? Robert Olimar. We have Jim Abbott. We have two Jim Abbots. Interesting. We have another Jim Abbott. Twice. Getting ready for the Sixers game. About to hit the road. Oh, Matthew, you're going to go watch the Sixers game live? I like it, brother. Very nice. We have Jarrett Wade. Yes, sir. 
Jarrett Wade. Enjoy the game, brother. Yeah, be, you know, have fun at it. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very nice. Greg Jeffries. We have Tony Phillips. Yeah, Gilmore should have run it, ran it last night, man. Chad Curtis. I was even on Gilmore at midnight, and I said, "Hey, Gilmore, make sure you run that promo. I will. Uh, I'll give out the prize." Uh, can I just shoot? Well. If you don't think he did, he probably didn't. Yeah. Um, so, Mark, uh, put that one just next to the garbage can. Copy that. I answered him already. Okay. I don't recall if that was to him or to someone else. I hope so, Matthew. Dave Beard. We don't need pennies. These these are vintage. Dave Beard. Who am I looking for in '85? '85 baseball. Yeah. Uh, you are Roy Smalley. That's tops. You are looking for Henry Cotto, Kirby Puckett, Roger Clemens, and Mark McGuire. Pete Rose. All right, I don't mind a little Pete Rose action. Yeah, that's the end of Pete Rose's. Right. Yeah. Bruce Sutter. Sid Hawkins. Steve Rogers. Rick Horton. Vaughn Hayes. Bill Kruger. Hal McCree. Ken Strong. Vance Law. Mark Langston. Rich Hebner. Got a us, but not the mark. All right, Jeremy gets the first pulls of the day. Good luck, Jeremy. All right, Jeremy, it looks like you get two pulls, brother. No, I'm sorry, one pull. One pull for Jeremy. Jeremy, we got Hal Smith. 53 Bowman color looks like. There you go, Jeremy. I'm sure you'll hit him, Matthew. Not on the desk. Uh, Matthew, right now we have a $25 treasure box. So, every $25 you spend gets you one pull from this box. We have um, vintage and modern stars mixed in. Uh, we also have sticky notes with hits on it. 
So, for example, you could win an exclusive wheel spin, a $1,000 briefcase. You could win uh, set spots, promo spots, like a 250 bonus spot or a $500 uh, bonus spot. Um, yeah, so this is our treasure box. We also have $1,000 briefcases running right now, Matthew. So uh, the prizes, we replaced the starter set with a 1959 starter set. Check it out. Uh, we replaced the starter set that got hit last night. We got Willie Mays in here, Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson. We got uh, Clemente, Corsair, Outfield Trio, Don Drysdale, Johnny Padres, Smokey Bergs, Jackie uh, Jensen. Um, we have the $1,000 break credit still in there. We have a, that SGC4 mantle inside the $1,000 briefcases. And uh, tonight we're doing the exclusive wheel. So if somebody lands on the hot hit on the exclusive wheel tonight, someone's going to take home this 55 Tops Kofax rookie SGC4. Uh, Jeremy wants to know your thoughts on the Yankees game. I mean, I was glad to see them finally, uh, you know, show some life and actually play and win. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, they can string a few wins together, climb back in the division. Was that against uh, the Car uh, Jays? Blue nice. Jays, yeah. Very nice. Or a tough opponent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they still need pitching, though, so we'll see. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. It's nice to uh, have the Mickey Mantle in my collection now. I think he was talking about the mantle they showed off. The all-star mantle. Or that, though. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> the BAM is live. The BAM is live. Alright, guys. Break a Maniac bonus is now live. So, I'm going to add the first response. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Tyler said, Don't worry, Doug, your mantle is beautiful too. I know, I know. It is. Just like your Clemente is, Tyler. Alright, so Daniel, Craig, and Tom O'Connor, you have your first Brick of Maniac spots. Spot number one, we have John Candelaria, spot one. Spot two, we got Tom Pagnosi. Did you, I hit, I finally hit the Frank Thomas leaf. Really? At the Philly show. At the show? Oh. Yeah, I was so happy. I hit it for Ryan Steele. Why don't you take a picture? Uh, I don't think I took pictures of anything that weekend. I was, was just kind of, yeah. Spot three, we got Eric Plunk. But, man, it was so satisfying. I bet. It was so sad. I was like, we did it, boys. We finally we've opened, hit it. We've opened a lot of those leaf packs. Yeah, yeah, we have Gerald Clark. Spot five, Ozzy Casano. Canesco. Canseco? Canseco. Canseco. As in Jose's twin brother. Yeah, it was Ryan Steele. Yes, it was. Keith Comst Comstock. Seven, Mike Lacoste. Spot eight, we got Gary Pettis. Are you prepping stuff or are you keeping track of a promo? I'm doing both. Oh. Yeah. Spot nine, Todd Stoudemire. 
What are you doing? Trapped everything that was uh, accessible. Oh, okay. Well, I I wasn't aware, so I was like, I'm gonna look up the stuff. Oh, that, yeah, Spot that's yeah. Spot Steve Avery. Yeah, no, I I was prepping stuff since you were bonus tracking. Gotcha. Yep. Spot eleven, Brian Holton. Spot twelve, Paul Assenmacher. Spot thirteen, Greg Harris. Guys, take advantage of that treasure box. It's only live till five thirty. All right, Craig Kime is jumping in the treasure box. All right. Spot 14, Jeff Reed. Once 5.30 hits, guys, that treasure box is going away. Also, I remember, guys, Sorry, 4.30. Right? The Layton's Loft goes on at 4.30? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. We also got John Orton. A double dipping. That's right. Yeah. We have a shot at a briefcase running until 3. Xavier Hernandez. Is this an extra card? This is an extra card for Ryan Steele. Okay. Let me just confirm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Yep, extra card going to Ryan Steele, Xavier Hernandez. You know, you missed this session. I just stay here harder over there. I missed it? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Is my voice, does it sound different? It does. You sound, it doesn't sound like you're 100% better. Does it sound deeper and sexier? No, you yeah. still sound sick. Oh. It sounds nasally. Are you, are you trying to be Barry White? No, it sounds like he's trying to be Fran. <laughs> the nanny. Oh, yeah. Mr. Sheffield. <laughs> Honestly, that's ex yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get that yeah. vibe from J Five, right? I used to hate that show when I was a kid, and then I watched it as an adult. I was like, oh, this is actually kind of funny. I loved the show as a kid because Trent Drescher is an icon. I like the show as a kid because she sounds like my aunt. Uh, Craig Kime. <laughs> I pulled straight from the top, brother. You got Herm we Wamer. Herm Wamer. Looks like it's a fifty-seven. There you go, brother. <laughs> Guys, there are 20 minutes left in that briefcase. 20 minutes. I'll update the chat. I already updated the chat. That's the time of the time. Mm-hmm. 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 I always found it funny on that show that the uh, the butler who played who had the English accent. <laughs> I love the butler. Um, I'll think of his name, but uh, he wasn't British. He just he was a, a guy from Texas that was very good at like having an accent, and he actually had to teach Mister Sheffield how to be more British, even though he really is from England. That's hilarious. Imagine being told like, what yeah, this fake Brit is. You're more not than you. British enough for TV. Yeah, that's what they said to him. Like, you need like. Have him basically <laughs> like work on your accent, bro. That must That's be crazy. Niles. Niles. Niles, yeah. Mark, can I have a hairband from uh, uh, the white box? White box? Yes, you may have a hairband. Uh, I think Gilmore didn't run it, Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. Hot spray. What's bright? The light? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm tall enough where I, like, I, I could just look into it by accident. Yeah. Would we be allowed to run that promo? Probably not. Right? Allowed? Yeah. I do what I want. What? Yeah, I heard. Okay. Huh? Okay. My bad, S10. Fuck. I forgot 10 super, you know, 10 out of 10. This man allowed. What? Whew. Sheesh. I was thought the, the oldest daughter was cute. She was from Beethoven. Now I gotta look up the characters from the show. Well, do you remember the movie Beethoven? The same part. Oh yeah. So the okay. oldest daughter. Yes. Yeah, I was. Thought she, I, I was. I when I was a kid, I thought she was pretty cute. So that was another reason why I watched it. No, I feel that. All right. Running promos that Gilmore forgot about. Story of my life. <laughs> Sorry. Where's Gilmore? He's in the chat. 
No, he's off. No, he's off today. Oh, that's he's, good. He, he deserves a rest. Yeah. Well, he's going to be here next week, so. It's good. True. Now when he forgets about something. You can throw things at him. I can throw things at him. Wait, is he going to be breaking here, too? Yes. yes. That's so cool. Yeah, he, he announced he's flying from Atlanta to here. All right, guys. Good luck. Yeah, Dougie, I'll... you're going to issue this break credit immediately, okay? It's uh, <laughs> it's going to be in a code for 14 days. A code. Okay. One. And... Two. There was only one prize, right, guys? Hi, everyone. Sorry, anyway, so... Greg Razabek is getting the one thousand dollar break credit. Let me check if there's. Let me check if there are other prizes. Okay. Oh no, there are three prizes. Okay, Greg Razabek got the one thousand dollar break credit. Okay. Remember uh, for the code. No, that's not what I want. Matthew Best got second place. He's getting the 86 Fleer Basketball set break spot for the SGC 9, Jordan. 86 Fleer spot. That, yeah, the four. The I'm four, no. Yeah. I don't really see. Bradley Aldridge in third place is getting a 51 set spot. 51 Bowman. 51 Bowman set spot, okay. yeah. I'll do those nice. Nice. Those are very good prizes. Th that was for the $100 all day that Gilmore forgot to give away yesterday. Wow. You know what's funny? When I was on at midnight with him, I told him to give it away, yeah. and I would uh, issue the prizes. Just email me the names. Just so the guys would know who won. All right. Give me two minutes, guys. I will work on those. Don't worry. That baseball bat is a good, good use. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm eyeing up that one. Yeah? Yeah. I want I want blood to hit the signature. <laughs> <laughs> so That'd Chris can work cool. next week. Huh? We're going to do it. I'm going to run it in slow-mo. You're just going to see his lips flapping. So I'm like... Oh, I, love, I love those solo scenes in movies where like the face stretches a bit more than normal. Yeah, they do that in Loki episode one. Oh, because they have like, they have like um, batons. Oh, but they're time batons. Oh. So you, when they hit you with it, you move in one sixteenth time, which is super slow, yeah. but you feel all the pain in real time. That's cool. So you're just like, you're like, yeah, it's dope. Marvel is so fun. It's awesome. You should watch episode one of Loki. I should. I'm gonna get home. Yeah, Friday I think episode two comes out. I'm pretty. Actually, I'm gonna watch it eventually, but probably not tonight because that's the one of the Potentially. One Matthew. spot away, Matt. Matthew, I wouldn't fret though. That second place prize was pretty good, Matthew. Let me show you the set break, man. Let me show you the set break. You got a spot in Matthew Best. You got a free spot in this bad boy. 475 a spot, not bad, brother. We're getting down to the wire on this. This might break, like on Thursday, if we can close, if we can get these spots down. It's like uh, it's like a dog toy. Yeah. You just never know when it's gonna break. You should tell them what, they, what you mean. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what uh, up, Rob Geis? What's up, Rob Geis? How are you, brother? Rob G. The Bucks <laughs> let me down yesterday, Rob G. I'm telling, bro. I was watching up to the third quarter, and then I jumped on VB South with uh, Gilmore, and then uh, you know when I checked back with the Bucks, they were like, "Nah, we lost." And I was like, what happened? They were like, Katie turned up. It was insane, man. Nice basketball promo later for to sell those out. Sounds fantastic. Rob G, I'll talk to the main man. That they did. That's a dumb team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Rob, absolutely, man. Absolutely. I bought in for 65. Can you bump that up to 75 so I can get three pulls? And three spots. Hmm. Huh. Uh, for you, Daniel, absolutely. Just this once, Daniel. Just <laughs> just this once. Garnett was amazeball. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Let's see. Yeah, I know you. Yeah, I think I was like Garnett's on the Celtics. You probably meant Durant. Yeah. All right, let me clear that. It looks. Did he not give away any of the of the promos? It's a chance he might not have. Might have forgot. I mean, Gilmore always says if he was gonna fire somebody, he's gonna fire Chris Gilmore. He said that to Chris, Chris Gilmore. Yeah, he says that all the time. He says that all the time. About he says if he has to fire someone, it would be Chris Gilmore. No, okay. He gave, it looks like he gave the others away. All right, okay, cool. I also fire myself. I wouldn't. I'm a not, not right now, but like if I, you know. Yeah. Person who could fire someone. I've already broken so many offices. I'm waiting for you that to rip. I'm I'm waiting to hear it. <laughs> He didn't give away. Oh, I don't see the other promos. Maybe Emily gave them away. Here's a chance. Yeah, because I don't see any of any. She did. All right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, by the way, if we're doing the um the poker game streaming, I talked to Emily. She's in. Heck nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. She said she she knows how to play and she'd be in. <laughs> cool. It just I'm depends on her schedule. Kicked. I'll give you twenty five. No, it's okay. <laughs> I oh, yeah, yeah. We'll am going to have JK play from my location and coach me. Oh. I'll play. I would, I would probably be at your location, too. Huh? <laughs> I would probably be at no, your no, location, no, too. No, 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 if no. If it's on a Friday, I'm probably at your house. <laughs> Mr. Superman, though, here. Oh, sorry. Housekeeping? <laughs> housekeeping. Did you ever tell them that story of housekeeping and the con that we went to? No. Maybe one day. Housekeeping. Yeah, I don't know what story you're talking about. The one where we were all asleep. It was before checkout time, and housekeeping just knocks. We say nothing, and they just burst through the door. Walked right in. Oh yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry, and they closed the door. Yeah. yeah. People were sleeping on the floor because we're too. It's a, it's a convention. You know? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you gotta sleep on the floor. You need some poker tips, S10. It's not my first, it's not my game of choice. Uh, so, you know, I take all the, I'll take all the advice I can get, man. Craps is my game of choice. Oh my god, it is. It's so fun watching you guys play. Oh yeah, it's fun winning at craps. I, I issue not, man. John went on a 30 minute tear, and all I did was collect money while I was watching the Suns game. And when I looked down, I was up like seven hunch. I was like, what happened? I was watching the Suns game. <laughs> My favorite part is when you guys came in and they were like, oh yeah, I lost a lot of money. We only have these $2 left. Yeah, that was great. Did you put in that I love that you believed me. I was I was like so depressed for you guys. Yeah. And then they're like, psych, here's the money. Yeah. Uh, how do you, does your printer cut? Yeah, it cuts. You, you slide it. Slide oh, slide I the see. Cutter. You have to slide the lever. Yeah. I couldn't find the lever. I was like, I've used this before. I know it can. All right, let me... All right, we have some pulls. Nice. Rob G's in for some pulls. Four. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. All right, Rob G, these are your pulls, brother. Gene Baker, Alex Grams, Hobie Landriff, Smokey Bergs. We have a 250 high roller spot for Rob G. Dougie. Okay. On that is a Jim Fergozzi. We have Joe Cunningham, Bob Miller, Saul Ruggovin, Rip Coleman, and Danny Cater. That's for Rob G. Thank you, brother. All right, uh, Greg Rizabek, Matthew Best, Bradley Aldrich, your prizes have been issued to you. Can you see the messages if I put it on YouTube? I yeah, I see the messages. I'm talking about... Lamello. 
Lamelo was announced, Roy, rookie, rookie of the year. year. Nice. Oh, that's good. That card Dude, got my Redback Lamelo PSA 10 Pop 5 just went up. Yeah, it's gonna be sad when no one still wants to buy it. <laughs> A single tier. At the convention, at the con at the Philly show, guys. I got a lot of compliments about my Redback Lamello rookie. Yep. I I had a bunch of people say, "Wow, that's probably multiple thousand dollars, multiple thousands of dollars." And I kept saying, "Yeah, it's available for sale for one thousand. Nobody took me up on it, and I was like, "Huh." You know, now you should just sell it. Now, now I don't want. Nope. Now I want more. So, Lamello yeah. wins. Beats out Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Albert. Oh, awesome. yep. Now I want more. Fair? I have never heard you guys talk about the other two, car the other two players. Huh? Like, well, Anthony Edwards was number one pick in the draft. Yes. Technically, people took him over Lamelo. Yes. And they took James Wiseman over Lamelo. Because they they had a need. They needed a big man. Yeah, I know. Because they had the the backcourt. So. <laughs> Benson. Yeah, Benson. I am trying. I'm. I am trying to sell that Lamelo. I. Uh, I. Just yeah. <laughs> I have a bunch of uh, Lucas I'm holding. I might. I actually want a Giannis. I want to like a. I want a Giannis rookie auto right now. That's what I'm hunting. Giannis is your man. Yeah. Like whether he ever wins a ring or not, I just you know that's my favorite player. I want a rookie auto. Of course. I know Luca's like a generational talent, so that's why I'm holding all of his stuff. So speaking of Dallas, uh, they just. Uh, Dallas let go of their general manager. Okay. So I know there's a rift in the organization. So I'm thinking this is a move to help Lucas stay. Cause Probably. The, because apparently there's people in the organization that are terrified Lucas is going to leave. Oh. Like, like the organization? Like after, his, like after his contract runs out, they think he's going to, like, they're terrified he's going to leave for free agency. I would sell all non-numbered Lucas and pool the money together to buy a low-numbered Luca. Huh. That's kind of... You think that. that's, um... That yeah? Because yeah. a numbered one's like... Really Go for nice. the Giannis Grail. Aim for 2015 Galactic, maybe, if you can find it at all. It might be within reach, depending on your budget. Huh. Okay. Thanks, Benson. Yeah, you think I should move my my Lucas and buy like a numbered Luca? I didn't I didn't think about that. I think that's a solid piece of advice. I've got well, I have um, I have like six or seven Luca rookies, uh, not Prism, just you know various Luca rookies, um, at home, and then I have like. I have a few second year Lucas PSA ten, and I have about forty second year Lucas at grading right now, uh, hoping they all come back tens. Um, Daniel Lynch, these are your polls. Some beta. <clears throat> we have a five hundred high roller spot for uh, Daniel Lynch. That is on a Dan Kessinger, and we have Danny Cater. That's for Daniel Lynch. That's true, Tyler. Four minutes left on our first briefcase. Twenty-four spots left. Guys, we're like halfway there on our first briefcase. Every twenty-five you spend gets you a pull and a shot at a briefcase. All right, Craig. Craig McDonald. We have Ernie Orvalt and we have J.C. Martin. That's for you, Craig. <laughs> yes. 
That's true, Tyler. It's definitely something to think about. Um, Alright, let's break. Three more minutes. And then it goes <laughs> What's up, Adam? Base card, ba I, what, what was that accent? Base cards yeah, yeah, of modern products aren't investments. Anyone in for a long haul would agree with that. We got a nine. Uh, this is on the wrong thing. Let me just move this over here for now. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. All right, there we go, guys. Alright guys, this is 2020 Donruss Football Box 12. Good luck, everyone. This is a fun break. I don't think I've broken this before. You have? No. You want to play the football? Oh yeah, it's 2020 football. Uh -huh. It's Burrow to uh, Herbert. Uh -huh. Hey, what's up, Jeff Spellman? What's going on, Jeff Spellman? How are you, buddy? Hey, one autograph and one memorabilia card per box. No, so usually uh, that product's at the south, but. Oh, so that's why you have to deal with it. That's your answer. You have Keenan Allen, Noah Font, Carl Mack, we have Terry McLaurin, Jayon Brown. We have Chase Claypool. Teddy Bruch, Patrick Mahomes, Darnell Mooney, Kenny Clark, the one key briefcase exploded. Uh, you can extend it till 3.30. Copy that. I will redact my statement. If it will let me, I guess not. Mm -hmm. oh, you made a statement, you have to stand by it. Statement's there forever now. Oh, never mind, it's gone. It's been retracted. Philip Lindsay. Jalen Smith, Bernie Kosar, Derrick Henry, Le'Veon Bell, I have CD Lamb, 84 of 100, rookie, Gridion Kings. Nice. Gridiron. 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 That doesn't look like Gridiron. <laughs> well, it's Grid, and then Iron. It just, I don't know. It's Gridion now. Motherfucker. Sounds like a made up metal. Alright, for a BAM spot. So is the rock. You said to be in charge of what? Jimmy Purchase. You're going to be in charge of. That's all we get to. Jimmy Purchase. Lamar Jackson. Sports adjacent. Are we doing a winner circle? Or are we just doing BAM spots? 
Bad spots? Okay. <clears throat> we got Nick Chubb, Christian Wilkins. We got Henry Ruggs, rated rookie. Hopefully after we dump the pack. All right, for a BAM spot. <clears throat> On this day in 1975, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers make a significant trade that changes the course of the NBA. What player did the Bucks trade to the Lakers? What year? 1975 on this bet. Nope. Kareem? Correct. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, Daniel Lynch. Daniel Lynch got it first. Actually, I got it first. Okay. I didn't even look at the chat. I'm just saying. You're so smart. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you beat me to it. Yeah. All right, Peyton Manning, John Elway, Brett Favre, Daniel, now to the Nationals, if you get every single trivia question right, you'll probably win the BAM, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, if he, now until the Nationals, if he gets... Every single trivia question, right? He'll probably win the BAM. It's true. I mean, like those are good odds. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, statistically, those are really good odds. It's like putting a hundred dollars in black. Exactly. Statistically, you should win that. And if you don't, you know. Well, do then large. you just no. Then you double down. Oh, then you no. do two hundred on black. That way you can. <laughs> so, I my odds on favorite from the last time we did this was uh, Sean Dooley. For all the times that he had us like. Giggling that till it hurt. That's he that's finished, true. He, he finished in second. That's true. That's true. Well, yeah. last time there was no second place. Well, well, now it's top seven. Well, now it's top seven. So now it's now you Harrison can. Smith, Evan Ingram, Matt Juden, Joseph, Julian Jones, some blank card, Michael Pittman Jr., Gridiron King. We have ooh, that's a nice looking Aaron Rodgers coming up. Aaron Rodgers. Who apparently still wants out of Green Bay. Of course. Is Green Bay bad? No, they're good. It's just him, him and the organization uh, don't get along. Mm. Uh, Jeff Spellman. I think it was Orlando. I also think it was Orlando. I think Orlando won the last one. Celestino. Mm -hmm. Celestino. Yeah, I think he was the last one. That was a while ago, but I think it was a month ago, like almost this day, which is crazy. It's already halfway through mid June. Like, where did this month go? You know, places, things, shows. I shows know. away. <laughs> it went away. That's what it did. We have fifty-three of two ninety-nine Antonio Gibson Auto. Michael Perrine, gold, 17 of 50. Patrick Mahomes, elite. Chris Jones, Zach Ertz, Antonio Gibson, okay, for a BAM spot, <clears throat> on this day in 1978, mm -hmm. what Hall of Fame pitcher threw a no-hitter against the St. Louis Cardinals and won 4 nothing? On this day in 1978, what Hall of Fame pitcher threw a no-hitter to beat the Cardinals 4 nothing? Are we just going to be rattling off trivia questions all day? We're going to be giving away a lot of BAM spots. Well, I was prepared for mine, so just right. let you know. I just saw it. All right, Tom O'Connor got it. Tom Seaver. Nice. 
I am just getting whenever I get cued, I'll say it. I just saw I thought it was an interesting one. I know that these guys are big in the village, so. He's true. Drew Block. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Darius Leonard, Andrew Thomas, Lamar Jackson, pack six. I'd say like once in the Huh? Once in the Okay. But no specific time. No specific Just within the hour. Yeah. Seven. What? Call CPS. <laughs> 43 of 75, Benny Snell Jr. die cut. <laughs> oh, that was from the best card thing. You might have to ask that. Joshua Kelly, Nick Bosa, Michael Hardman, Joshua Kelly. Seven. You have to call him Daddy Doug. Daddy Douglas, can I have two panels? There you go. <laughs> 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 I suppose my son. I'd rather you call him father. <laughs> no, you can all thank Sam for that. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> no problem. My pleasure. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> it um, was? John, if I'm ever here and uh, or you need it, it's literally Just right there. So. I think we look okay with calling him Father Douglas, but not Daddy. No, Father sounds way yeah, too. Uh, so before before you got here, the reason why I, I had a whole new bottle, Brian literally sucked down my last bottle. Brian drank Tylenol. <laughs> Serious, like you, like once in a while, like I mean, I don't care. It, I I get it because I have it. But I mean, yeah, he like was every day. Every day, it's he drank good. that ish. He constantly I've has been here for like two months. I think. I've been good. Which is fine. I mean, make that, I feel like that's a reasonable amount. Mm -hmm. You just gotta dip into the Tylenol one now. Oh, there's a one. So many bigger cards. I'm gonna see that in my dreams. <laughs> 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 David Robinson. <laughs> oh, the Admiral. Wait, weren't you in the... <laughs> His nickname was the Admiral? That's so, weird. Yeah. That's like That's so cool. He was in the Navy. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Weren't you in the Navy, too? Yes. Yeah, so David Robinson was in the Navy. That's why he was nicknamed the Admiral. Hmm. He's, so gonna, he's gonna beat you on the ship. <laughs> yeah, in fact... He Where got, are my hits? In fact, he got drafted in 87. Had to wait he finished his you know tour with the Navy and then he finally went to the NBI. <laughs> we are on pack ten. I have yet to hit a Burrow or a Tua or a Herbert. What pack one? Pack ten. Alright. Right. Eighteen pack packs, yeah. Right. Waiting to hit something here. I'm falling asleep at the wheel. Steve Atker, Dwayne Hoskins. That's because I was up late. Jones Chandler, 61 of 100. Press proof. Press proof. Peyton Manning, Legends. Aaron Rodgers, Legends. Gene Chase Young. Alright, come on, Box. What are you doing here? Chase Young's a good card. Sure. I know, you want the quarterback. want the money makers. 
We haven't hit our memorabilia card yet, so technically, you know, I could hit like a burrow, jersey, whatever. You have God's be waiting for one pack, like, oh, imagine his surprise. <laughs> That's what the, the cards are doing. They're hopping from one, one pack to another. Yeah, but you can't catch me. They're just flipping through space. Yeah, you know, the car, that's how cards do. DeAndre Swift you rookie? Of course. They're waiting in the shadow room. Yeah, Yugi Moto can just do that, whatever he wants. Kind of like how Wreck It Ralph and all those characters used to go through the uh, cords. Exactly. Yeah. Dougie, tell me a story. Not even to ask me for a story? Okay. Nope. What kind of story? I don't know. Entertain me. John's humping doors, so... I want to tell you a story about a time where the, uh, the underdogs overcame and triumphed. So there was this team that was really good. You know, they had three really good players. They drafted them. Okay. They were the defending champions. Okay. And they were up three games to one. Okay. And then... Slowly, the underdogs, they got game five. All right, they've now made it a series. Game six happens. They've they've now tied the series. Game seven. Epic game seven. Probably one of the best game sevens in recent memory. And they were tied for four and a half minutes until somebody finally broke the tie with an epic three-point shots. All right, guys. Name that game. Get a BAM spot. Name that game. 50 of 299. Kirk Cousins patch. Ew, Kirk Cousins. It was the puppy boy. <laughs> Zach Moss. Ezekiel Elliott. Nobody? Name, name the game Dougie's talking about right now. You know what it is? Of course not. The puppy bowl? No. It's not the puppy bowl. Oh, no, I thought he was asking what the puppy bowl was. The Luka game? Not the Luka game. Last year's finals? Tell him what sport. Basketball. It is basketball? Mm-hmm. Repeat, please. All right, so this is a tale. The Jordan game. Bob Jordan game. Okay. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> this is a tale of a Warriors team. versus Cavs. Brian Steele got it. Game Ryan Steele. Steele. Warriors versus Cavs. Ryan Steele. It's the 2016 NBA Finals when the Cavaliers were down 3-1 to one and come back to beat the 73-win Golden State Warriors and beat them in Game 7 in one of the best NBA Final Game 7s in a long time. Ryan Steele, that's a crazy guess, bro. What if it's not a guess? What if he knew? I mean, he, 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 he could have known. He could have known. What, what if he, he was, was there? there? In, in California? I mean, hi. You never know. Five he years. said it was such, It was a very good game. He oh, was glued epic. to the TV. That was epic. Yeah. It was on Father's Day. Oh, I was so excited when LeBron and the Cavs beat the Warriors. Okay, guys, just a heads up. Uh, the briefcase got extended to 3.30. There's 14 minutes left and 24 spots still open. All right, guys, if that briefcase doesn't close by 3.30, I got no more time extensions. It will explode. Then I'll use all the emojis. <laughs> all of them. Hey, there we go. There's some heat, finally. We are on pack 14 for Michael Shalasi. Michael, 155 of 500. Jordan Love, purple rated rookie. There we go. Man, I was waiting and waiting. I was like, my hope was dwindling. There we go, Michael. That's what I'm talking about, man. That is a pretty card. Nick Chubb, Lamar, Lamar Jackson, Alshon, Clyde Edwards. <laughs> Just 
extra for that? Those things are broken and because it That is true too. Are you gonna give him a fidget spinner? Are you gonna give him a fidget spinner? He'll destroy that, John. John, he'll rip that in 2.5 seconds. Does Mark need a fidget spinner? He no, needs um, a chew toy. The, the mouse pad's gone. The other thing got ripped in half. It used to be a fun dolphin. Now it's just a really depressed one. I know I have a couple fidget spinners at home. I'd have to see what they are. Oh, man. If you got an extra one, you can bring one in for me, too. All I'm doing now is... I'm gonna use, my hand grip is going to be insane now. See? <laughs> Uh, I expect you to rip it in half by next week. Press proof Sam Darnold. Larry Fitzgerald. Saquon, Jalen Brown, Mahomes. You're right, Jeff. That was an epic Game 7. That was a good year for Game 7s. 16. <laughs> Show me what you got. Tony Gibson Golden. Okay. There we go. We got a nice insert. Joe Burrow. Elite rookie. Pack 16, Michael Shalasi. All right, so Reggie Miller has an interesting take. I'm just going to throw this out there and see what the responses will be. If you're Steve Nash in the Nets, would you sit Harden and Durant in Game 6 because of the heavy minutes and push all your chips to the center of the table for Game 7? You mean like, so he's talking about giving So basically the resting Bucks. Harden and Durant. I know, giving the Bucks game. Giving the Bucks basically a, a six. Tying the series, bringing them back for game seven. In your home. In court. Brooklyn. Wiz Cubby says absolutely not. You know, if I was playing, I would probably also not want to give them another shot. You know, it's funny, I but I feel like if they if they see them sit them, mm -hmm. they can sit Giannis. Am I wrong? Here's how I because I, I know they have to obviously the the Bucks have to win, obviously to stay alive. Sure, but if you see them bench Harden and who and KD. And KD. If you watch them bench Harden and KD, there's no way you're going to have your players go all out. They had, you need to rest them, but you have to win the game. Here's how I think it's going to go. If Milwaukee gets up early and they're like, let's say up like 18 to 20 points, I think the Nets pull both of them. And they'll say, hey, we played, you know, we just it wasn't our night tonight. We're going to, you know, go after for game seven. That's what, yeah. I can definitely see that. Wiz Cubby says Bucks aren't good enough to win without Giannis. The Nets got nobody after KD and Harden is sat. Of course they can win without Giannis. I mean Blake is decent, but they're not gonna. I I honestly I think they're gonna play, but I think if Milwaukee gets up early, they'll get they'll get benched and, and we'll they'll, they'll sit them for this. Yeah, probably. George Kittle, Kyle Rudolph, Slayton. Sean, what do we got? Baker Mayfield, sixty-eight of five hundred. They are some of the best athletes in the world. They are. A two-hour basketball game isn't something you need four to five days to recover from. That's true. Well, that's the thing. I mean, Harden had a hamstring issue. KD is a year removed from uh, being out with an Achilles injury. And they're also older, too. But, you know, I mean, this is the time where you're trying to win a championship. Yeah, it's now or never. It's, I mean, yeah. You guys said four to five days. I thought you said forty-five. 
like four tens, five singles. No. Like, Whoa, well, that's a long downtime. All right. That was our 2020 Dodgers football box. 12, thank you guys. You can never give a game to a team in, the, in a playoff series. That's true. All right, Mark, so that briefcase, any movement? Seven minutes. Best oh. So the best response, uh, Velveeta Company mm -hmm. answered it. Oh, shell no, Reggie. Oh, shell Wait, no, Reggie. Are we talking about Velveeta, the cheese company? Probably. Yep. Amazing. <laughs> yep. Oh, shell no, Reggie. I think that's great. That is fantastic. I know. Uh, let me see here. All right, guys, we are going to announce a promo. Mark. Si, senor. There's... Go to the shelf behind you. Uh-huh. Done. Come here. The big box. No, to, yeah, that big box right there. No, the big white box. This one? Yeah. Take one pack of each out. Oh, okay. I believe it. I Dougie, can you actually jump on for a second? I'm going to go to these little breakers room. I'm going to prep this promo and I'll be right back. Sure. Do you want me to do this personal? Yeah. Okay. All right. What's up, everyone? Cool. All right. Let's do this real personal real quick. What's going on, everybody? This is 229. Todd Schaefer. Going on, Craig. All right, guys. This is 1983 Tops Baseball Wax Pack number 229. A personal for Craig, uh, for Todd Schaefer. Crap, that one. Let's uh, let's go check something real quick. What I did. I just don't want to double up. Okay. So guys, we have the $1,000 briefcase, which is the 40 of 25. Um, there are 24 spots remaining. So for $25, <clears throat> not only can you get a chance for a briefcase, but also Sam has his treasure box. So a chance to double dip, double your fun. All right, Miguel Delon for the Indians. The checklist. So 
So 83, we're looking for Wade Boggs, Tony Glenn, and Ryan Sandberg. Aurelio Rodriguez for the White Sox. Let me just move uh... Tom O'Malley. Future Hall of Famer. This is Joe Torre when he managed the Braves. Mm -hmm. About 13 years away from when he managed the Yankees, the four World Series championships. Russ Nixon for the Reds. Bob Clark. Sparky Lyle. After he uh, won the Cy Young with the Yankees, got traded after he wrote a tell-all book on the 78 Yankees, which was called the Bronx Zoo. All right, Wayne Nordhagen for the Blue Jays. Fred Brennan. Here is Willie Akins for the Royals. Wonder how Bobby Witt Jr.'s doing. Curious. Um, Gilmer was talking about him last night. He was? Okay. I'll have to check. And well, now the minor leagues have started. Uh, Do we have any word on Is Dominguez playing? That's, well, that's the next thing I was going to say. I wonder what, what Jason Dominguez has been doing, too. I hope he's actually. I want. I know. I want to watch him play a game. I do too. Like I'm hoping he gets the Trout A Rod uh, fast track right up to the majors. John Lowenstein for the Orioles. Bill Lasky for the Giants. Okay. And Bill Robinson. For the Phillies, one more minute for the briefcase, guys. So, so there was one more. We had uh, an extension, so it's going to be a hard stop at 3:30 for that briefcase, guys. Yeah, I mean, we know that he was doing extended spring training because he didn't get to play his, um, you know, he didn't get to play rookie ball because of COVID. Um, so I mean, right now he. Yeah, he hasn't really done anything except for, like, you know, the new stages of when... All right, let me stop this break. So, like, somebody gets drafted in June. They go to the, um... They go to, the, basically, the Yankees camp in Tampa. Right. They kind of do, rookie, you know, the rookie stuff, extreme spring training, get them ready. He didn't get to do any of that. So, he's kind of, like, they kind of had to, like, start the clock and just kind of... All right. You all ready to go? I think so. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. Here comes Sam. You know what would be cool? What's up? If we had a second webcam for the guy behind the the glass, and, like, they were, like, either, like, like right next to me or, like, under, or, like, you know what I mean? Like, somewhere. I've in actually the heard people suggest that, like, kind of like how radio shows on TV, like, you could see both of them, and um, I guess kind of like when Gilmore used to do that with uh, like Sunday shows. Yeah. With like Drew or May. Yeah. Yeah. I'd put you in like a like a little corner. I'd probably corner. put you next to the VB logo. Yeah. Cause I don't need all this. I don't need this whole square. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can just, it seems like it's nice. No, just like cut off like a corner, like. That's fair. Like right, the top right, like here, yeah. like no, nope, over here, like this corner. <laughs> like, look, we got space right here. I can't. Okay, boom, 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 boom. You know, see, you yeah. got room, dude. What if everyone on the in the office had a cam? That would be great. And we just lined them up on the bottom, like right above the title bar. I was about to say, you could either line them up there or put them in each corner of the, of the <laughs> That'd be cool. camera. 
Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, guys, this is gonna be fifteen times. Yeah. I feel like the only one who wouldn't get the cam would be John because he's always walking. No, no, that I would insist. No, because then it would be these four. I would insist. Yeah, okay. He needs the camera. That way, that way, he always has his camera time, and he can't and always. He always has his hair. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Tom. I'm hoping he plays soon, man. I'm hoping he plays soon. I know. I do too. Um. All right, guys. This is gonna be a 15. At. Mm, this will be a 15 of 50. Yep, 15 of 50. Everybody gets a pack, guys. Top pack is a 2020 Chronicles Football Fat Pack. We have 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball, 2019 Diamond Kings Baseball, 2020, uh, 2021 Series 1 Upper Deck Hockey. We got 90 Pro Set Football. We got some other cool wax packs in here. This is going to be a 15 at 50. 15. Right, Daniel? It's been a minute, man. Uh, so, this is going to run alongside the pull box, guys. So, every 25 you spend is getting you a pull. Uh, every 50 you spend is getting you a pack. But this has to close. If it doesn't close, nobody gets a pack. Uh, this has to close by 4 o'clock. 15 at 50. And that's running alongside a 20 at 50, guys. That's running alongside a 20 at 50. I might, you know, we might be able to run the promos to like 410. Uh, but we do have to set up for Layton's Loft at some point. It's from a few weeks ago. But from a few weeks ago? Oh, well, that's pretty recent. Still. That's recent. He's wait, waiting for a patch. Mm -hmm. Where did the ball go? Doubled it to left field. Nice. Just destroyed it. Yeah. Nice. He moved okay. I, he looks like he could. Oh, I mean, he, he bulked up. Uh, yeah, he bulked up, but it looked, didn't look. It looked like he wasn't running that That's hard. Yeah. Probably. I mean, it's training camp, right? They probably go half speed. Extended spring training is like. Eh, it's like eh, you're you're like you're kind of working out the rust. Do you go full speed though, or not really? Not really. No? Okay. Alright, well, there you go. Yes, they are. Everything is running alongside the treasure box. That's right. Let me see if we have any more pulls real quick. I hadn't checked in a while. That box break took forever. What's up, Lily? Hello. Uh, Alright, no box pulls, guys. No box pulls. I'll set these over... Um, hold that thought. You have two set breaks, right? Yes. Uh, -huh. uh Lily, you can take two set breaks up front. And then, yeah. Where's your hat? It's in <laughs> <laughs> you expect her to wear it all the time? She said she was never going to take it off. She lied to us. I'll bring it on Friday. It's a Friday hat. Yeah, no. Okay. Only on Friday. Okay. All right, 15 at 50. Oh, I won't be here to see it. It's I true. I know, I have seen it. I enjoyed it. 2020 Chronicles. 51. All right, Craig, good luck, brother. Can you see, can you look up any Zach Wilson training video? Are they, are they, uh... Well, I mean, they're starting to slowly, uh... Yeah. I want to see my man's. Let's see. We got Tyreek Hill, Julio Jones, Adam Thalen, Definitely gonna be number two. Baker Mayfield. 
Clays Chapel rookie. Patrick Queen rookie. Jacob Fromm. T. Higgins. Antonio Gibson. There we go. He's got a good delivery. Michael Pittman. Kenneth Murray. Zach Moss. Antonio Gibson. Isaiah Simmons. He still looks like he's 15 years old. Jalen Hurts. That's okay, man. Good. Maybe he won't be, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, getting into all that nasty business. Maybe he'll just be a good boy. You know, he'll work hard and he'll go to bed, and that's it. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, I mean, where they live. I mean, it's literally ten minutes away from New York City. Yeah. Alright, so they had or so they have a thing called organized team activities. So Will Zach Wilson's stats from this. Um, so he was 122 of 173, 72% completion, that's very good. 17 touchdowns, only three picks, and fourteen hundred and fifty yards. So, I mean it's against, you know, rookies and all that stuff, but you know, that that's good. Okay, so. I take your word for it, Doug. I don't know nothing. No, no, that's... Decent, right? Nothing, like, super impressive? I mean, nothing... I mean, all this stuff doesn't count until September when you're facing a lot of competition and facing actual first-team defenses. <laughs> right. So. Who want to literally take you out. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, NFL veteran defenses love nothing more than feasting on NFL looking quarterbacks. So. Yeah. I hope the Jets fix their lineup because Darnold was running for his life most games. Oh, man. I feel like I consistently annoy people with how many times I post promos. But sorry, that's your, guys. But that's your job. I know. Darius Slayton, Richard Sherman, J.J. Watt, Cherry Rice. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Like, it's literally like, oh, <laughs> 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 it's some damn guys with the wrenches. You should you should have seen me inside. Uh, what's it called? The the Philly, Philly show. show. Like at one point, it was just me for like ten posts. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we had like five promos at a time, four promos at a time. So like, two updates would be like the whole entire. Time. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Ten dollar flash from J Five. I don't know why he didn't feel like talking. What a what a what a loser! What a loser! Dougie, you're keeping track of this ten dollar flash. Okay. First place is a one hundred dollar break credit. Second place is this T two hundred five Millen. T two hundred five Millen. Those are nice. The T two hundred fives look like they have a lot more color than the T two hundred sixes. Yeah. They do. We'll it's, I, be, I feel like, what's it called, the T206 has muted colors or something? Yeah. They like yeah. didn't use bright stuff. Is this yeah. now until 4 p.m.? Yep. Uh, third place is a bib. Okay. Now until 4 p.m., guys, it's a 20-minute flash. <laughs> Take advantage. That's, yeah, I like this melon. It looks dope. T206 has a better overall appearance. Yeah, T206 looks like it was more thought out. True. I was just saying, like, this definitely has more color. Like, it has way more contrast than the color. Yeah. Like, every color on that just, like, pops at you. Well, the T206s are, like, they look like portraits. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is why it looks way more thought out. Right. Yeah. 
I personally like Kiko Tex more in terms of design. It's just I wish they had colors that were more. Right. I know they didn't think about it when they made the cards, but the back, the different backs are cool. Yeah. I know they were just, you know, what cigarette they came out of. But. Yeah. And that's if they were even in a pack. Right, true. Yep, true. <laughs> Jarvis Landry, pink camo. For some reason, I need a. Uh, I think I need pennies. Hold on. You need a pen? No, no penny sleeves. I got some of them. Oh. Okay. for the assist. Mike Allstock. Jonathan Taylor rookie. Senor. Okay, guys. Pop culture question trivia. Which famous American pop band was originally called Kara's Flowers? What? Which famous American pop band was originally called Kara's Flowers? So the band originated in America? Yes. They were named Kara's Flowers up until 2001. Yeah, was did he get that like Beatles question? Uh, he anytime we had music trivia like uh um, oh wow Jason got it. Good job. Wow, Maroon Jason, Five Maroon Five was originally called Kara's Flowers. Flowers. Wow. Kara's Flowers. K-A-R-A apostrophe S Flowers. What's up, Jason Johnson? That's a huge upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I like Maroon Five way back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Gets a bad spot, right? Jason Johnson says he toured with them back way back. That's so cool. Oh wow. Can do. Understood. Whatever you want, Chief. Hey Dougie, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. That should be outside. Can you just... Yeah. Thank you. Spot one, Ron Say. Oh, I thought that one. They were less pop back then. That's so... I agree. I just forgot. What is it? In indie? Alternative? Is alternative. That what it used to be? Alternative. Alternative. There it is. We're Spot two, Chili Davis. Davis. Yeah, that's a real bet. Yeah, I agree. That name is whoof. No wonder why they weren't so popular until they got Maroon 5. Right. You know? <laughs> Apparently. Huh? I don't remember. <laughs> I know one country hates Wow. Okay. Oh, he's entertaining on the voice. Isn't he the coach? He's one of he was one of the coaches. Oh yeah. was. Yeah. He was but he was on there for a long time. Like ten ten seasons, fifteen seasons. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think they do two seasons a year. Dave Stewart. And it started in like I think twenty ten or something. Like they're yeah they're do, they're pumping out the seasons. Last year they were doing uh the voice on Instagram too. 
um, where like you submit an, um, sorry, Snapchat. They did the voice on Snapchat. You submit a Snapchat video of you singing. They did it like that for the pandemic. It was really cool. Yeah. Spot nine, Mark Bailey. The, the new band spot does have seven winners, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. I put it in the chat. I was like, am I a liar? Yeah. No, no, no. There's one through seven. Perfect. Spot 11, Eddie Murray. Mark, if you put the chat to 10 hard things. 10 dollars. Oh. Uh, Doug has it. Second First place was a $100 break credit. Okay. Second place was a T205 Millen, M-I-L-A-N. Third, pardon me, third place is a BAM. Okay. Spot 12. That's right. And so far, we have two entries. Well, two people. Yeah. We have Lucas Lukaszynski and Tom O'Connor. Spot 13, Daryl Strawberry. Is it $100 per credit? Uh, that is first place, yes, yeah. sir. Okay. I got the rest of it. 14, Tony Penna. Fifteen, Dan Quisenberry. Actually, wait, it's T two O five Milan, right? M I L A N. Okay, I thought I spelled it wrong. I was like, well, maybe this isn't okay. Right. Confidence, Mark. Confidence. I like that the most. I you know. That's what I have to teach you. What's the What's the um? What was it? Wizard of Oz. Was it the the lion? <laughs> Yeah, courage. Yeah. Courage. That's exactly what I You I'm feel like the lion? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lion murdered someone too. Like I don't remember. <laughs> the scarecrow? The scarecrow. I was like I was like the tin man? No. I was gonna say the tin man too. I, I definitely feel I definitely tin feel tin man esque. We all thought of it. Uh, like, no scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. hundred percent. We're terrible people. <laughs> <laughs> tin man is smart. He just, you know He got things going on. <laughs> Tyler, this is a $10 flash, Tyler. Uh, for every $10 you spend. Um, hey, Darcy, what's going on? Darcy's here? Uh, hey, Darcy. Mark says hello. Mark hey, says Mark. hello. Uh, $10 flash, Tyler. Every $10 you spend gets you an entry. First place is a $100 break credit. Second place is a T205. Third place is a BAM spot, Tyler. <laughs> we also have a 15 at 50 running. Every 50 bucks you spend is getting you a pack. And we have a $25 treasure box pull. Every 25 you spend gets you a pull. I will update the chat with them. ASAP. Darcy, how are you doing? How's your day going? How's work? Cello pack. No problem, Tyler. Tom O'Connor is the personal. I like it. All right. Good luck, Tom. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, at this point I would. He's hunting down my GoPuff order. Oh, it's probably on the side of the. He's been on the yeah. I'm I'm watching it out of the corner of my eye. He's been on the side for like twenty minutes. Just to be certain, that happened around the same time as the twenty and fifty. Uh, yeah, the first person in was uh, Lucas. Okay, just making sure. Yep. Thank you. Yep. We have Mike Griffin. We have. California Angels team card. We have Barry Ayala. We have Dave Bergman. Uh, that is a good question, Townsend, Mr. Townsend. Uh, surprised Doug didn't take my phone. This is Randy.
We have Bruce Hurst, Keith McWhorter, and Raid Nicholas. Rob G. Dave Bergman was my boss's college roommate, Ripper. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what's up, Matthew? One time I promo that I made your room this from bring your leg again. Yep, Matthew. I f yep, Doug Corbett. John Henry Johnson. Rich Hebner. Raymond Avales. Ron Lefleur. Bruce Benedict. Rob Piccolo. Alright, Tom, that was your personal brother. Thank you. This is 89 OPG. 89 OPG baseball. Actually, let's do promos real quick. Johnny's going to be jumping on shortly. So let's get caught up on promos. That's a good idea. Yeah. I subscribe to this idea. Alright, so. Oh, let me go change that because that updated like, immediately. Yes, just kind of. Thank you. All right. So, Lucas Lukaszynski getting a few pulls, Lucas. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two. There's one spot left three, for the 15 and 50, four. by the way. Lucas, let's check out your pulls, brother. Tom Gorman, George Zook. We have a T205 Blackburn, Russell Blackburn. Okay, cool. Tanny Cater. We have Stan Banson, 68 Rookie Stars. Neil Bryles. We have Ken Suarez. Jim Harden. We have Nelson Bryles. We have a 250 high roller or a 250 bonus spot for uh, that just popped off my arm. Uh, 250 bonus spot for Lucas Lukaszynski, Doug. Tim McCarver. Matty Alou, Ed Fitzgerald. That's for Lucas. Thank you, Doug. In case I didn't say it when you walked in. Oh, yeah, no problem. The guy just had trouble finding Yeah, it looked, I saw him going up and down. I, <laughs> I was like, come on, dude. I was like... I mean, thankfully it's nice out, so yeah. I'm just like... I was like, all you gotta do is turn the corner. <laughs> he was like, hey, can you respond to me ASAP? Is this your house? Took a picture of like a random house. I was like, no. no. You're wrong. <laughs> I was like, you gotta go around the corner, make a right. But he said, hey, respond ASAP, you know? I had to... I know, right? I had to be blunt. <laughs> Alright, next we have Tom O'Connor getting two poles. Tom O'Connor, Nelson Bryles, Don McMahon. Mahon? Mick Mahon. Mick Mahon. Hey, okay. Um, yeah, Mark will update you in a moment, my brother. Tom O. Tom O'Connor. Mick Mann. Mick Mann, yeah. You got it, dude. We have Ryan Steele. One, two, three, and four. All right, Ryan Steele. Fred Cleggs. We have a BAM spot for Ryan Steele. Herman Franks. Bob Teffenauer. And Fred Clages For Ryan Steele. You got that, Dougie? Bam. What was it? Bam. Four. Ryan Steele. Ryan Steele. Okay. Did the fifteen of fifty close, Mark? The fifteen of fifty did close. Nice. Russ, Russ getting an Alvin Dark, 
and a 68 rookie stars for the Cubs. Jose Archie and Bill Schillesner. Yep, totally. Solid. solid. Very solid. I felt extremely confident with that one. I think you said it almost exactly as I, their parents would have said it. I, I agree. I agree. What an incredible last name. Next, we have Andrew Blevins. Good luck, Andrew. I don't even like this. Andrew Blevins. One, two, three, four. Sending you a list for the 15 out of 15. Two, three, four. All right. Andrew Blevins. We got Bob Taylor. Ken Suarez. 500 high roller, Dougie, for Andrew Blevins. And that is a Bill Freehan. Bill Freehan. Ken Boyer. Jim Wynn. Galen Sisko. Don Locke. Dave Duncan. Andrew Blevins. We've got three spots left in the 1K briefcase, and then only one minute. Does anyone else want to, like, jump in on that? Guys, there are three spots left. Three spots left. In the 20 at 50 for a $1,000 briefcase. Does anyone want to close it? Anyone? Otherwise, it will expire. Ryan Steele will close it. You got it, brother. Copy that. So that's all. All right, Matthew Townsend. You're up, Matthew Townsend. We have Paul Popovich. We have Donald Dahl. Donald Dahl. This is a 51 Bowman football card. Uh, we have rookie 69 rookies for White Sox. We have Herman Franks. Bob Humphreys. And we have 69 rookies for the White Sox. Same guy. Nope, different guys. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two. That's for Matthew. Right, and Ryan Steele said he's going to close, right? Yeah, I'm just waiting. So that'll be six pulls. One, two, four, six. One, two, three, four, six. Close. I like it, Ryan. All right, Ryan, we have 68 rookie stars for the Orioles, Dave Leonard, Dave May. We have NHL shout-out shout out leaders with Tony Esposito, Bob Teffenauer, Gary Bell, Matty Alou, Jack Hyatt. That's for you, brother. Send you the list. Awesome. Um, we're actually going to set up for Layton's Loft. Yeah. Alright guys, the pull box is running until 5.30. So every 25 you spend on Layton's Loft, I'll give you a pull after Layton's Loft. Just keep that in mind. I'm also going to send you the list for the $10 flash. Yep. We haven't hit the 1K briefcase or an exclusive wheel spin yet. Yes. Nine ish, give or take, and it's ten dollar flash. You need more time, right? I can give away two more promos. Yes. Okay. 
Let's do the 15 at 50. That's a little more time consuming. Alright guys, that's the order. I'm going to give those packs out. Alright. Lucas Lukaszynski taking home that Chronicles football pack. Matthew Townsend getting that 2021 20, Tops Heritage Baseball. We have Lucas getting a 2019 Diamond Kings pack. Andrew Blevins getting the next two. 2020-2021 uh, Upper Deck Hockey and 90 Pro Set. For Andrew Blevins. Lucas getting the next two. We have, I believe, 90 Donruss. And 91 Fleer for Lucas. Andrew Blevins. 92 Stadium Club tops. Lucas. Here we go. 92 tops baseball. Ryan Steele. 89 tops baseball. Andrew Blevins, 91 Tops Baseball. Russ. We have 90 Fleer Football. Tom O'Connor, 90 Fleer. Ryan Steele, we got NHL Hockey, 91-92. That goes right here. Lucas getting 91 baseball. All right, thank you guys. Those are the packs. You have a big bag, Doug. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, that's double. Ten dollar flash. And we closed the briefcase from all right. Yep, I sent you the Cool. Um, and you can, did you send me the $10 flash? Yep, they're both there. Okay. 
Dost thou see it? Yep. Okay. Give me five minutes in. Five more minutes heard. I got two more from this. Alright. Ten dollar flash. Seven. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Lucas Lukasinski getting the first briefcase of the day, Lucas. Lucas, whatever you want, my brother. All numbers are available, Lucas. Let me know, man. Congrats, Lucas. $10 flash. Alright. We got a five. One. You got it, Lucas. Two. Three. Four. And five. Andrew Blevins, Andrew Blevins, and Lucas. Uh, Andrew Blevins gets a hundred dollar break credit and the T205. I'll give the Lucas gets a BAM. Alright, I'll do the BAM because I'm going to get the credit bonus, yeah. All okay. right. I believe J J5 for that song in the second half. Eleven for Lucas. I now understand why it's called a BAM spot. Andrew Blevins getting the T205 and the hundred dollar break credit. Yep. All right. Lucas needs to get the other. Yep. Congrats, guys. All right, Andrew Blevins, if you're watching, hundred dollars is in your dash. All right. That was all my promos. Johnny's just looking through something. The real question is, is Johnny hard at work or hardly working? He is, dude. I'm a little bit sick. Hardly working. I agree. Yeah, Mark. You're right. He's just my boss. <laughs> what do you think, Pablo? He, he agrees with me. Um, he he shook his head? his head yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I see it. Yeah. I can still see the residual yes. <laughs> Pablo, always agreeing with me, man. He's such a good yes, man. So few words, you know, perfect. He's seen, but not heard. You know I wish sometimes did that? Who? Brian. Who? Brian. Yeah. But I miss him now. Yeah. You know what I wish it does, uh, who I wish would do that now? Who? Jacket? <laughs> Just sometimes, not all the time. I might take a little... Vacay right. to Arizona. Sign up. Ready? Guys, we're going to set up for Layton's Loft, and then we'll be back afterwards, guys. John is going to be setting up the computer. We'll see you in a bit.